Paul, why are you a theonomist? Don't you know that Christianity has nothing to do with politics? Actually, Christianity has something to do with everything, including politics. Jesus is Lord over all of the universe, which means Jesus is Lord of civil government. However, the purpose of civil government is not to save souls, but to enforce God's justice. Only God can save souls. But Jesus was not involved in politics. Jesus was not married, but that does not mean Jesus forbids marriage. Jesus' commands are not limited to his earthly ministry. Remember, as a member of the Trinity, Jesus Christ is God, and so the commands of Christ are every command God gives in the Bible. And unlike the ceremonial laws, the civil laws, at least mostly, have not been abrogated, but even in his earthly ministry, Jesus upheld the Bible's civil code. For instance, in Matthew 5 verse 18 Jesus says until heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. And in Matthew 15 verse 4, Jesus specifically upholds the capital punishment against cursing one's parents. But Jesus said my kingdom is not of this world. That means that the world is not Christ's source of power. In that very verse Jesus goes on to say that my kingdom is not from the world. Daniel 4 verse 17 says the Most High rules the kingdom of men, and gives it to whom he will. Thus, Christ's kingdom is not of the world, but his kingdom extends over the world, and therefore rules the world. Since Christ's kingdom rules the world, civil rulers must submit to him. The same Christ who told Pilate my kingdom is not of this world also told Pilate you would have no authority over me at all, unless it had been given you from above. But Jesus said to render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's. That means that man has obligations to Caesar. It does not mean that Caesar has no obligations to God. Wives likewise have obligations to their husbands, but that does not mean that husbands have no obligations to God. Jesus is the king of kings, which means all kings, including Caesar, must submit to him and submission entails enforcing those laws in the Bible that pertain to civil matters. The greatest evil ever committed was the murder of Jesus, which occurred in the civil realm. And that very murder assumed that Caesar had no obligations to God. Remember, those who wanted Jesus Christ crucified said we have no king but Caesar. When someone says Caesar has no obligations to God, then that person is saying that Caesar has no moral constraints and that he can put to death whoever he wants to whenever he wants to. So, Tommy, is this your view? Do you have no king but Caesar in political matters? I must repent. I now realize that I have denied Jesus Christ as Lord in the civil realm all this time. All these years my view of politics has been atheistic. So I now agree with you. Jesus is Lord over civil government. As he says in the Great Commission, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. I implore all Christians to pray that everyone comes to acknowledge that Christ is Lord over civil government. He is Lord of Lords and King of Kings.